Hello, YouTube family. Welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Latoya Sharika. And before we get anywhere in this video, I want y'all to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ain't subscribed, something wrong with you. Please subscribe to my channel and just come on my journey with me. Learn about me because I'm learning about myself at the same time. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This week, even though it's just Wednesday, I've been feeling so damn good. I do. I have been feeling so good. I'm not bothered. I'm relaxed. I'm calm. I'm excited. I've been flirting. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of flirting, honey. These men right here, they don't know what they got in store for them. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm just having fun and, and just rediscovering you know, myself again, you know, and I want to be better than what I used to be, better what I was a month, a year ago, better. I've been dressing up, I've been putting on my little jewelry, see this little thing right here, I got this from, um, dang it, what that girl name is, she be on Facebook all the time, Cherry, I got this from Cherry, and I love it. This is the key. Somebody need to get the key to my heart right here. <laughs> yeah, I got this from Cherry. I bought a whole bunch of jewelry from her. And I'm about to get some more, I believe, because I love these necklaces. But I've been doing the most. I've been doing bigger and better things. I'm, I'm committed to making my channel grow. And I'm getting more subscribers every day. And I'm meeting my own viewer goal. I'm meeting that. Yes, I am. I'm almost there. I need 2,000 more viewing hours, and I'm almost there, but I got to get my subscribers up, because I know a lot of people, I know a lot of y'all watching, and y'all need to hit the subscribe button for me, for me, because Latoya Sharika is my brand, Latoya Sharika is my business, Latoya Sharika is my baby. My goal is to help everybody with any situation. You know, I've been getting so much feedback, you know, even my best friend, T.R., and I'm going to pull her in here because I love her. That's my sister. And we we are uh, two peas in a pod, you know. And she just told me, you know, you are reaching so many people to it's unreal. But I'm reaching all these folks and they're not, they're not subscribing. Come on, what's going on, y'all? Do that. Subscribe. Hmm. Even my baby daddy, he's old lady watching. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if they ain't subscribed. <laughs> But, you know, my best friend told me, she said, I'm reaching a lot of people. She's very proud of me, you know. And, you know, to go to um get off track a little bit, because, you know, I'm known to get off track. To get off a little bit track, me and her, we ain't too long just reconciled. You know, I had stopped talking to her, you know, a couple years ago, a years ago back, because I felt like, you know, I, I, I felt like she didn't abandon me in a kind of way. You know what I'm saying? So we stopped, you know, communicating. And, you know, all it took was a for a conversation for me and her to have to get back on track. You know, we said we sorry to each other. We forgive each other. And we're we just like two peas in a pod. We always laughing and giggling on the phone. It's just, you know, it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Because I needed her in my life. I needed her in my life. You know, I need her. That's my sister. That's my real sister right there. My real sister from another mother. I love her. I love my friend T.R. I do. I love her to death. And I love her daughter, Onika, the child I, I named. And I just, I'm in love. I'm in love all over again. All over again. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with life right now. I am. I'm trying to get my life. I am. I am. I might be going on a few dates here pretty soon. Who knows? <laughs> but I'm having fun. You know, I found out I got a new passion now. You know, you know, I, you know, I told y'all I was um working out thirty minutes a day, but bump that. You know what I'm gonna do now? I'm doing dancing, honey. I'm been dancing my little ass off, and I can't fucking stop. Mm, 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 mm. I can't stop. I can't stop, and you know, I discover uh, the love of Jamaican music. I love me some Jamaican music, man. Yes, Lord, I be in, the, in my house doing it, grinding and trying to do it with this old badass knee. 
you one day I was dancing so much, my got their arm caught. My arm was hurting so bad. It was hurting so bad. And then my knee went to hurting back again. So I had to take off take a little break, you know, a two day break off the dancing. But you know, I, I hit it back strong again yesterday and today. So uh, it's just it's just a progress, but I'm determined to get some of this weight off me. You get as much as I can because sometime next year or the year after next year, I'm going to have this weight loss surgery. So I need I'm already in the works and just trying to help myself um uh, even better when I do have that surgery. So that way it won't be a big old shock to me. But I want to get this weight off me. I'm gonna dance it off if I have to. Because I've seen another dude, you know, and he was a big dude too. His name, um, he be on TikTok and um he be on TikTok. He be everywhere up dancing. His name is Cedric the Entertainer. And he be shaking his ass. He be shaking, popping, bending back, dropping to the ground. All that mess. And then I see another lady. Her, she's a comedian. Or at least that's what's in her description. And she be on Facebook dancing. She has inspired me to get on my ass and dance. If she can do it with her big old booty, I can do it with my big old flat booty. Because <laughs> I recently... I recently discovered I have a flat ass. <laughs> I recently discovered I had a flat ass. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, and now your girl, she don't put on this sundress. And she went in that damn Dunkin' Donuts. And she saw Mr. Coffee. And he almost tripped over his feet trying to watch me. I ain't want shit. Just enough fucking around. Flirting. I ain't want a damn thing. I ain't had nothing else better to do. Mm-mm. So I went in there and um got me um a slush and uh smelling good. I done rubbed down this damn uh cashmere. This um cashmere from um um Bath and Body Works. Honey, you can't tell me nothing. Hmm. 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 But this is gonna be a two part video because I'm gonna talk some more in the afternoon. But yeah, I'm sitting up here bored and stuff. So I said, well let me go ahead and get this video going. So I won't it won't it won't take a whole lot this evening, you know. Just in case something happened, you know, before something happened, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm supposed to have an interaction with my kid's father today. So y'all cross y'all fingers for me because I really don't wanna lose the momentum that I'm been having here. Fool fool around with him because I know he's a damn he's a um mood killer by himself. You know, just looking at him kills the mood, kills my mood. Mm. But y'all pray for me because every time I deal with this idiot it's always some damn headaches and shit for me. Headaches and I'm just being in another mood. He just takes the mood. But I'm get, I'm I'm trying to get better with that. But from letting him steal my joy. I'm trying to get better with that. You know, but it's gonna take time because, you know, I've been through so many different stages with this um with our marriage, you know, falling apart that, you know, sometimes I get taken aback, you know, like taken aback. And I think get to thinking about, you know, did I make the right decision, you know, when I when I decided enough was enough of him um doing me like he was doing me, and then on top of that cheating on me, you know, I get taken aback because sometimes I wonder, did I do the right decision for my boys, for my kids? You know, I was trying to hang in there for them for the for them, but it got to the point where it's unbearable for me because I don't want to be a second choice to nobody, you know, I want somebody to love me for me. But for, but it starts with me, and I realized that because my friend told me that I have to love myself enough before I can love anybody else. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing myself in a different light, in a way. You know, but I want my children's happiness to be a, a priority. But I can't be. It can't be a priority if I'm not happy. So that's what I'm gonna do. So that's where I'm at right there. But I do take I don't but I do get taken aback. And sometimes certain things it reminds me of the marriage, you know. For instance, you know, it was our um anniversary last week, you know, that took me aback. You know, and I was really in the mood. I was really down. I was I was in the mood and I was kinda angry. So yeah. But I'm over it. I'm over it at now. But when I be in my bed and I be sitting home, and, and, and I be home in my room in my bed, and I just think about, you know, listen to the, uh, it's an owl be outside in my yard, and I be listening to the owl hoop, 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 you know, late in the night and stuff. I be like, well, dang, 
I'm a, uh, I ain't got nobody in this bed. This bed is cold as hell. You know? You know? This bed is cold. Ain't no warm body in but me. Now, I'm resorted to sleeping with damn teddy bears and shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I be sleeping with my, um, Valentine's Day gift from five years ago. So, I sleep with my pony, my pink pony. And, um, uh, some other little, um, uh, stuffed animals. Because, um... Your girl, ooh wee, she be wanting somebody sometimes. She do, you know. It seems like I be on, uh, and I see a man, and he smells so good, and them senses just just take over, girl. Just take over. <laughs> and I want that. I want that. I want it. I want it, but I don't want anything. I don't. I don't want anything. I haven't been there and done that shit. Mm mm. No. And that man said, delete this. Delete this. <laughs> no, I don't want anything. But I want to have a good time. I do. I want to have a good time. And this is probably the most I don't smile and laugh in a video in a while, in a long while. Because everything is so damn dreary. And I know y'all probably tired of seeing me dr seeing dreary Mookie. Dreary uh, Latoya Sharika. Dreary, dreary girl. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm losing this weight. I'm getting around, I'm moving, and I'm trying to be cute and grown at the same time. Hey, hey to all the men that's watching, if you're watching. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. <laughs> and I, I want to thank, I want to thank the people that's loving me, that's supporting me right now. I'm going to take the time out to do that. I want to thank, thank Victoria Roseman. I want to thank T.R. Holloman. I want to thank Miss Alicia Wells, my neighbor. I want to thank Miss Valerie Lynn for praying with me. I want to thank my cousin Calvin for encouraging me, talking with me daily on a daily basis, and just giving me um so much hope and wisdom. Yes, yes, yes. And I also want to thank my cousin Pumpkin. You know, she is also just... um. Fantastic, fantastic. You know, I can always call her about anything, just about anything. And she will just try to do her best to guide and guide me in the right direction. I love that. Them people right there, I swear to God, you know, going through this young, you know, has made me realize how much I need somebody. You know, I need a team around me, a village around me to help me. You know, even though they're far away, it doesn't matter because... When I call, they they answer the phone. They answer the phone and they ready to help me at any, at, with anything, whether it be advice for my children or advice for me. So I can't do it without them and God. I don't only give God the glory and praise because I made it this far. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to see me when this stuff really happened? Start coming about. Y'all wouldn't even recognize me, honey. I was ready to kill, fight. And all that stuff, and I just was um angry. I was angry, upset, mad with him, mad with me, you know. But it's lightning. The load is lightning for me. It's actually lighter than I think it is, you know, because I am been coming out my shell, and I just been doing it, no regrets at all. I post them them dancing videos on Facebook and YouTube and um TikTok, and don't even worry about it no more. And I get excited. When I hear, when I see the people telling me, good job, and, you know, do your thing, Moog, and, you know, they're supporting me. They really do. They're really supporting me, and they're in my corner, you know? I didn't have to go through this alone, I'm, and I'm glad that I didn't have to go through this alone. And I'm especially glad because I have my children. Because if I was alone and didn't have no kids, honey, I'd probably be somewhere in a dumpster. Somewhere in a dumpster. Just don't fell off the damn grid. Homeless. Just don't give a damn no more. But um, luckily, I have people that love me. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. And I want to thank my people from Africa. I, want, I love them. I love them. They support me wholeheartedly. You know, I want to, I can't tell you their names because I can't say their names pretty much. But I just want to say I thank y'all, people from Africa, for supporting me too. Today, started out so much better than I thought it was going to be. You know, my children, they got up with their usual mess. You know, that fighting and carrying on. But, hey, I ain't let that bother me. I didn't. I got their behind together. 
We got in the car and drove them off to school. See y'all. Don't want to be here. <laughs> I sure did. Mama, what, mama, mama, why you do us like that? Hey, y'all got to go to school. I done been there and done that. Mm -mm. I done been there and done that. Y'all got to do that. Yes, Lord. But, um, I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for everything that's happening in my favor. So, y'all stick around and stay tuned for part two of this video. I showed y'all my dinner. And I'm sorry about the camera angle. But I was trying to set it up where you can see me. See the food actually as I eat it. But, um. I've showed y'all what y'all need to see on that part, but this is going to be a talk and eat video today, tonight. And excuse me for the crunching and munching, but this is my own, let me see, did I eat anything today? No, I ain't had nothing to eat today. This is my first meal of the day. Mm. And here it is. 8.45 p.m. Mm. Honey, I get so busy. Run around. Run around town. Trying to do my errands and stuff for the boys to get out of school. And sometimes I forget to eat. And the only thing I had today was a cappuccino. Yep. And I took my medicine today on empty stomach. Oh, I need to stop doing that. I really do. I really do. But I told y'all I was going to come back. A part two, because I already know, you know, when I um, have an interaction with my own children's father, there's always some bullshit in the mix. And he never fail. He always deliver. But... I'm getting to the point where I'm not going to let him keep stealing my joy. And I've been working on it. Working on it. Because I prepared for this day. Because I already knew in advance he was coming. He had to, uh, he had to um, cut the boy's hair. Because I'm not paying $40 for no haircuts no more. I'm not. I was doing it for a while. But this motherfucker. These, this, them his boys. He can do something besides tell lies. So, he came over here, as usual, always looking around, I don't know why, but he always looking around to see if anything different, but I had on my outfit today, my hat on my makeup, my lipstick rather, my jewelry, and you know, and I had my little summer dress, <laughs> and I was looking good. I was looking good. And he knew it too. But all he want to do when he come over here is, I ain't being recorded, am I? Yeah, I don't want to be on no YouTube. Ah, 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 ah. All that stupid shit. Yeah. So, I proceed to go. I proceeded to go to my normal destination, which is the other room. The other room and sit down and just mind my own business and let him do what he need to do so he can get the fuck on. This salmon is so good. It ain't dry. It's good, just right. And I should have put it in. Um, I, I put it in my oven, and I forgot I had a damn air fryer. But this motherfucker good. Like the little boy said on um, Instagram, this motherfucker look good, and it is good. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's flaky. 
But, like I was saying, I know I try to avoid conversations with him at all costs. But the devil in him, the devil in him, the asshole in him, won't just do right and just leave me the fuck alone. So, instead of him bonding with his children, he wants to take digs at me. So, whatever. You can have it. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not upset. I'm not anything. I'm not doing anything. So, He, pre he proceeded to tell me, I almost got choked out, you know. <laughs> he proceeded to tell me that his ugly ass girlfriend will come over here and visit. So we can, me and her can have a woman to woman sit down. Because I don't play about my children. I don't play about my children. I don't play about my children. Them two boys, a Andre and a Draymond Anderson, I don't play about them. I don't play about them at all. At all. And I ain't rap too tight. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm a few screws loose, if you know what I mean. And I'm dead serious about mine. Better ask somebody. So, me and her going to have a sit down sometime next week. It's all good and then, because that's all I really wanted. Because she need to know she ain't the motherfucking boss. Of this house. And she ain't the boss of me. Period. And when my children get to going around her ass. She better come fucking correct. But. The devil as usual. Is always busy. Because he's never the. My ex. My husband. Ex husband. Whatever you want to fucking call. Whatever, whatever I want to fucking call him. He ain't shit. He ain't fucking shit. He'll never be shit. Anybody get with him. They ain't gonna be shit either. Hmm. He ain't shit. He gets mad because I'm talking about him on YouTube. I know y'all heard this already before. But it's really bothering him that I'm talking about my life experiences. And he's a part of my life experience. Like I tried to tell him, you are a part of my life experience. You are. For 16 years, it's been me and you and, and one kid and then... Two times 2016, we had another kid. It's been us. So, yes, it's going to be a lot of the stuff I talk about is going to be geared toward him because he was in it. So, you can't get mad. Yes, you was a scumball husband. Yes, you was mean to me. Yes, you tr you controlled me. You, you made it where I couldn't even be on social media. You didn't want me on Facebook or none of those things because you were fucking up all along behind my back. You know, I just, you know, you were out here taking pictures and selfies with these bitches. You know, they thinking they wifey and they sat in the bar and setting the standards and shit. And then I'm getting shortchanged. I'm getting shortchanged. The kids getting shortchanged. But I can't. I can't give. I can't be mad. I can't. Ha I can't be mad. I can't be mad. I can't be mad for shit. I can't. Cause the reason why I can't get mad because all he want to do is play fucking victim. But let me tell you something, um, YouTube. No, I am not perfect. No, I'm not. I'm not. Maybe I could have did things better, but hell, I was going through depression. And from time to time, I do get depressed. That's what I'm taking medicine for. My depression and anxiety. Hmm. I was going... <clears throat> Damn, I'm going to get choked out again. Let me get some water. Pause. I was going through it. Hell. When I had my 
first child, I didn't have nobody but my auntie. She came and helped me out. You know what I'm saying? She stayed long, but she came to help me out. Then I got my second baby. I ain't had nobody. I'm by my damn self doing it up all night long, changing diapers, lack of sleep, no sleep. You in the other room, you snore. You snoring and texting bitches. And when you, when you, and when you, and then you got the audacity to be telling these bitches about me. Oh, they said, when I called one of the girls and, um, when I called one of the ladies, cause I was, by then I was, um, getting his phone, sneaking his phone and getting the damn numbers out the phone and calling these bitches. They ain't had no remorse. For what they were doing. And one lady, he, he was taking her money. He was taking her money. She, he was telling her he ain't had no money when he's out of town eating. And she sent him fucking money. <laughs> A swindler. But you tell these bitches, oh, she's smart. She's very smart. She's going to she gonna, she gonna, she gonna have another degree. she got a, um, a bachelor's degree. she got a master's degree. She going to get her master's degree. You telling them all about me. It's a warning. You ain't told them my social security number. If you even know it. But you telling them all about me. But I don't know nothing about them bitches. I don't know nothing about, I don't know nothing about them bitches. No, I don't. So, I mean, I had to really do my homework and dig and investigate. But there's one bitch. One bitch I couldn't touch. And that's the bitch he with now. He went all out for that one. He went all out for that one. He can't even afford to be with the bitch. But I ain't mad. I was upset. In the beginning when I found out, I was so upset. So upset. So, so heartbroken. So crushed. I just felt beat the fuck down. And I'm in here trying to do... I'm trying. I'm dealing with that and dealing with everyday life. Raising boys. Getting them ready for school. Taking them to school. Picking them up. Homework. Whatever. You name it. Cooking. You name it. You know what I'm saying? And then I still got to deal with this dumb shit here. But I can't be mad. I'm not allowed to be mad. I'm not allowed to be mad because he wants to be a victim. But you can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. You can't be a victim and do the cheating too. But I'm going to tell you something. YouTube. Let me tell you what, what really broke the um the cam the straw that brought the cam camera. Wait a minute, I can't even see it. Let me tell you what really broke the straw that broke the camera's back. Hold on a minute. Let me put this in my mouth. Mm 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 mm. That's good. That's good. The scroll that broke the camera back was when my son was in here microwaving. My oldest son was in here um making him some microwaving something for himself in the micro in the um in the microwave. I was in the TV room and my son said, Mom. Who is Joan? I'm like, huh? What are you talking about? What are, what are you talking about? He said, who is Joan? What is Joan? I said, bring whatever it is you're talking about. Bring him. Let me tell you something. God is my witness. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> Mm 
My son, my 13-year-old son, bye-bye. My 13-year-old son, he brought me my his daddy keys. And on his keys, he had a keychain with Joanne on the keychain. He had a, a keychain with her name on it. Hmm. So, I'm like, wow. So, I proceeded to go look for him. I knew he was outside. I knew he was outside. Because that's what he do. When he, he, he talk, he, he, he checks in on her constantly. More than he checked on me. Because he had stopped calling me, checking on me. Stop calling me on lunch break, checking on me. Stop calling me randomly, checking on me. Stop doing all that. We start going, this woman right here. He stopped doing all that. I mean, he would literally be in the backyard in the damn dark talking to this um backwoods swamp rat. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. So he came in the house. I already had took the keys. I took the keychain off the keys and hit the keychain with her name on it. And I told him, I told him, come to the room because I got to talk to you about something. I said, look, then. I can't do this no more. You got to go. You got to go. You got to leave this house. I can't do this. I can't do this, son. You lying to me. You telling me it's um it ain't nothing between you and the woman. You telling me it's all about me and this, but your actions don't match up with your words. You got to get out of here. You got to get your ass out of here. Immediately. So. He proceeded to go. Sit in my living room. My good living room. Former living room. Looking like a lump on a fucking log. And I proceeded to go the fuck in. I didn't have it that night. I let that motherfucker have it like have it that night. I didn't hold back shit. I got a filthy mouth. And I got a filthy mouth and I can cuss with the best of them. I'm a Simpson. First and foremost, first and foremost, I'm a Simpson before I'm an Arrington. And I let that motherfucker have it. You understand me? I went on for at least two or three hours just saying all kinds of shit about him and her. And he looking like a lump on the log. Half his shit was already down there. Where he was staying at. He, with that woman. Half the majority of his shit was already down there. Because I ain't never see the good draws. I stopped seeing him in the good draws. He'd be wearing some old ragged ass draws around him. You know, sex had already slowed down. You know what I'm saying? It was barely happening. And every time he come here. In this house, it's always a fucking problem. He ranting and raving about something. He ranting and raving about something. Just going on, dying and beauty, bitch. You ain't got to be in him causing all this damn friction. Having me and my children on fucking edge. Take your ass down there and be with her. If she mean that much to you, go down there and be with her. It ain't like that, move. It ain't like that, move. Well, then what the fuck it is? Cause seems like to me, you are in a relationship with this woman. And you can't have me and you can't have her. You can't have me with her. You can't. I'd be a fucking fool. And I almost went for that, YouTube. I almost went for it. I, I was just that fucked up about this situation. That I almost said, okay, you can have me and her. I almost went for that shit. And that's the God on the truth. But. My God. My God. He saw fit. 
for me, and he saw fit for me, and he changed my plans. And he said, "No, okay, no, Latoya, you not for the go for, go go down like that. You not, you not for go down like that. I got you, baby. I got you. All the praying, crying, praying and crying that I've been doing, asking God what's really going on." And he constantly gives me confirmation that this motherfucker doing me in wrong. Constantly giving me confirmation. Constantly. Then he got to the point why I used to have, I used to be the manager over our phones, even though he was paying the bill. I used to be the manager over the phone so I could see who we called him regular. I was looking at phone logs every five minutes, every five seconds. Looking at phone calls. Even trying to match the phone call, the phone number with the person. I was doing that. It was about to drive me crazy. Drive me literally crazy. My big cousin said, stop doing that, Mook. Stop letting them live in your head rent free. But I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to. Because in my mind, that was my husband. That's all I knew for 16 years. That was my husband. How dare she take him from me? I ain't did nothing. To him, in order for him to do that type of shit to me. I ain't did nothing but be a supportive wife. Helped him get to where he at today. But he ain't shit because all he do is this right here. Gab and lie. I know he be lying. When he be around here talking to folks and, and trying to make himself seem more than what he is. But he ain't shit. He ain't shit. And I blame myself. But... How can I, but I blame myself and I fight with myself about this right here because when I met him, I wasn't in the best place either. When I met him, I wasn't in the, in the best place. I thought I was in the best place. I thought I had my shit together because I was curbing niggas and, you know, picking and choosing who I want to deal with. You know what I'm saying? And I thought I had my game was on lock, but it wasn't. It wasn't because that motherfucking man, he was, he was doing me in the first day we got together. When he moved in my house. Over there on Lucia, he was doing me the fucking end every chance he got. Every chance he got. If he wasn't yelling at me, belittling me, he was coming home late with, on Friday. He would come home late Friday morning, early Saturday morning. It's still dark. They ain't had no money to help me pay my bills in the house. Lying, talking about he ain't got paid this and all, or this and that and third by his money. Talking about he don't gamble it up or whatever the case may be. Just lying. Just lying. You know? And I took that. I took a lot of that shit. I took a, I took a lot of shit from him. A lot. I, I took a lot of shit from him. A lot of shit. Cause when I got with him, my life start. My life stopped. My life stopped. I stopped wanting things. I stopped needing things. And he just had me under his control. I was like a baby. Being rocked to sleep. Rocked to sleep. Rocked to sleep. And he rocked my ass. He rocked my ass. He rocked me to sleep. And I was asleep for 16 years. But I'm awake now. I'm awake now. I'm just in the nigga time. But... The fight is not over. The fight is not over for me. Because I'm fighting hard right now today. Hard right now today. With this motherfucker. That won't just go and be with his new girlfriend. Just go and be with her. And just all I ask him to do is take care of his business. Take, out, take care of one thing. One fucking thing. That's to pay the rent. Here. And 
these last few months here, he been shortchanging me. He been shortchanging me. And I told that motherfucker today, what you did was un is um is is not cool. It's not right at all. Unacceptable. Period. But his main focus is, is who I'm screwing. Who I'm screwing and who I'm bringing in this house. I know better. I'm a grown woman. I know what what I want to do when I want to do it. I'm not a thought pocket. And I wasn't a thought pocket when I got with him. But he want to paint me out to be a whore. I'm not a whore. I'm not a whore. I'm not. Because I can be around here now, laying and scurrying and messing with this one, messing with that one. But I'm not doing that. Only thing I'm doing is flirting. That's, that's the, the least I can do is flirt. And I enjoy it. I like it. But he wants to make me seem like I'm a whore. So we got to, so when he left here today, after we had our little spat, he had the dash to call me. On his on my son's phone, talking about some he was a sorry for talking to me like that, and I told him you ain't gotta be sorry. Just pay your motherfucking dues here, pay your dues here, and stop worrying about who the hell I'm fucking. And you know what this bitch said to me? He called. He said I was a no good bitch and hung the phone up. Oh, <laughs> he told me. Oh, he told me. He said I was a no good bitch. Hung the phone up. I laugh. I laugh because he's really bothered. He's really bothered. He's really bothered. And he want to know who is coming and laying down between my sheets with me. Give me all the pleasure. But ain't nobody in me sheets. I'm not bringing nobody in this house around my kids. I'm not doing that. I grew up like that. I grew up like that. My mama had... It, it, it. I grew up like that. So why would I subject my kids to that? My mama had me in and out. Hell, it got to the point where they was Uncle this and Uncle that. But they're all going to the room. They go, Him and my, my mama and whoever, they going to the back room with the door closed. I was a kid. I didn't know what was going on. But I picked up quickly. Because at the same time, I was getting dealt with too. I was getting I was getting um dealt with. I was getting being molested at the same time. So I knew something was going on. I knew something was going on. Didn't know what to call it, but I knew something was going on. Mm -hmm. I grew up like that. So I don't want my children to be subjected to that. Different men in and out, in and out. That's not the way to be. I'm trying to show my boys. What it is to have a respectable woman. And I am a respectable woman. Yeah, I might cuss and this and that. I might cuss. Every other word is a cuss word. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I might do that. But that's my prerogative. That's my business. And that's how I choose to express myself. Yes, I'm educated. Masters, bachelor. Yes, I'm educated. But I choose to express myself by cussing. I'm trying to work on it. Some days are better than others. But it's not going to stop overnight. It's not. It's not. I'm a good woman. I know that now. I'm a good woman. I know that now. But I'm not going to let him control me. Because I deserve to see people too. I deserve to be in different relationships too. He's getting his ass. He he laying up fucking his, and sucking and whatever he do. He doing all that. And now you want to hinder me from doing that. And you gonna tell me if I laying up with somebody in this house, you gonna put me the fuck out. So you gonna put me out. So you gonna put me out because you can't really afford to live here on your own. So you gonna put me out just because somebody laying up sleeping with me, fucking me. You, you're wrong for that, bro. 
You wrong for that. You over there with a whole relationship with another woman living in her house and whatever else y'all doing over there, but you want to try to put locks and chains on me about what I can do in this house. I pay majority of the bills here. All the bills here, except the rent. I pay all the bills here. I do. So I deserve to do whatever I need to do. I got needs and wants just like he do. He getting his fulfilled. I'm not. Let me tell you what I'm doing. I got a rose. Hmm? But it ain't nothing like a heartbeat. You know, I want to be held. I want to be whispered in my ears. Hmm. 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 I want somebody to tell me, hold me real tight and shit. I want that for myself too. But you want to have it all for yourself. Hmm? You know, it's just a matter of time. It's gonna be. It's just a matter of time before, before shit really blow up for me and my kids. Cause this YouTube channel, this is my business. I treat it like my business. I treat it like my business. I work at it every day, hard. Diligently every day. I don't sleep on this channel. I work at it every fucking day. This is my baby. That's why I be on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, promoting my channel. This right here, what I'm doing is helping millions and millions of women. Millions and millions of people. Whether they're Dealing with love is love problems, trauma issues, weight issues, whatever. Whatever they're dealing with, it's helping people. People are watching my channel. And they don't have all that shit to say about me like he want them to like he's saying, like he proclaiming. They're not talking about me like a motherfucking dog. They're talking about your ass. They're not talking about me. And if they're talking about me, oh well, so be it. They talked about Jesus. I just can smile. I just can smile. And I wasn't doing it this time right here like this last year. I wasn't smiling, honey. I was crying. I was crying my motherfucking eyes out. Wondering what the hell is going on. You know? Trying not to cry in front of my kids. Trying to pretend like everything is okay. It's not. It's not. Thank God. I thank God every day. I thank God every day. Because, baby. Hold on one minute. So, I had to take a little pause because my neighbor just called me. She's going to come over. And I'm going to give her some salad and some salmon. The rest of the salmon. Because I'm a sharing person. And sharing is caring. But, y'all, have a good night. I will talk to y'all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. You and her too. Bye. Miss me, listen. I'm gonna make it in the rain, I'll shine. All about my money, don't waste my time.